Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and I am talking to you today about Saturn um, in retrograde. Saturn goes into retrograde in the sign of Aquarius, and we're going to talk you all about that in just a second. So I'm going to give you the dates for uh, Saturn going into retrograde and how it's going to affect you, kind of go over some highlights of things that you should or should not do and some things that it's gonna bring up for us to deal with differently. Um, then we're gonna be talking about like how to take advantage of this time of Saturn in retrograde. And then I'm gonna be pulling some angel cards and give us a little bit more um, information that's coming in from our angels and guides. So let's get started. Saturn in retrograde in Aquarius starts on February 14th, and that's when it just starts. So we're kind of in that pre-shadow as it just starts to back up. Um, May 23rd to October 10th, it is in full retrograde cycle, so it looked like it's at a complete standstill and not moving for a long, long period of time. And then after October 10th, it will start to speed up, kind of coming back into alignment with the rest of, of the planets going around. And um, it will be completely out of retrograde um, January 15th. And so we'll feel a relief at that time of just like it's completely out. So a couple of things about Saturn in retrograde. Um, this is a really opportune time to start questioning how we make our living, our career, um, the way we are living. Are we living alone? Are we living with someone else? This is a great time to rethink some of those things. And then it's a really great time to think about our uh, relationships with other people. And this could be coworkers, it could be family members, or it could be actually into love relationships as well. Um, one of the things that Saturn governs is time. And so it's a really good time to look at your calendars and are you allotting a, enough time for the things that you really desire in your life? Or is it a time that you need to rethink what you're giving too much time and you're really not that interested in? So this is a really great time. Um, I will tell you that clairsensitives are more, um, have issues, have more issues with time than anything else. And it's because clairsensitives don't always kind of live on human time. Um, it's one of those, it can be, so that can be a little wearing for us or we can get off track easily. Um, but it's something that we can really think about during this time in Saturn and retrograde and really choose to do things differently or set up a different structure. So that's one of the great things to kind of bring in during this time frame. Um, also, Saturn in retrograde um, encourages us to embrace our time alone, kind of rethinking our own thoughts, rethinking what we want to bring into our lives. And then also, um, this may also give us a better understanding of the people around us. Um, so that's just a really good thing. Saturn is also the planet of karma and karma will be in play a lot. So people that have kind of gotten away with stuff uh, while uh, Saturn was not in retrograde um, will start to see that whap backlash of <clears throat> karma coming after you. So if there's something that you get, did or didn't do or kind of like I could have done that better, this is a really good time to make amends to that um, and uh, kind of de-amplify a little bit of Saturn's karma kick for all of us. So um, one of the ways that karma is going to be impacting most of us is, um, especially in Aquarius, it's going to bring up an air of mistrust of relationships, especially. This is going to be not only our relationships with our family, our coworkers, our friends, but it could also be into our loved ones as well, our love relationships. So it also can bring up an air of feeling judged by others. Um, and it's one of those, it may not always be that they're judging us, it could be that we feel that they are, or they're not accepting of us in what we're doing in our lives. And that can also go in for us as well. Um, do we feel like we're judging ourselves too hard or we're being too critical of a mistake that we've made? It's something to really think about and that's a personal thing for you to work through. Um, Saturn's energy um, is a really great time to kind of um, set your support plans. Um, what are your new goals and new ambitions of what you would like to do or bring into your life? Um, a lot of us um, start, um, you know, the end of December, beginning of January of thinking of 
the wonderful things we would like to create in our world in uh, 2021. And that can kind of be really something that we kind of put on the back burner at some point. But this is the time to move that energy forward, to finish that up. And that's one of the great things is take something from the back burner and bring it forward and let's bring it to the end. Um, talking about setting our uh, vision boards, setting our calendars, what do we want to do, and making sure our calendars are working correctly for us. Um, so one of the things you shouldn't do is start something brand new in Saturn and retrograde, especially dealing with time relationships. Um, it's really a good time to kind of more rethink things or things that you've already been dealing with to bring that to an end. The best thing that you can do uh, during uh, Saturn in retrograde is kind of what task have you kind of put on the back burner? What are some of the things, the projects that you could finish? And this could also be for um, anyone. Business related, it could be what projects have you kind of pushed to the side. Um, it could be if you're a craft, crafter or a um, artist, what projects have you put to the side and now you're really ready to start or kind of bring them to a finish. Let's see, one of the things that you can do to kind of take full advantage of uh, Saturn in retrograde is it's a really good time to kind of rethink your career paths. Are you being realistic about your career paths and what would you like to change or modify? This is a great time to, um, to kind of practice self-discipline and kind of delaying that instant gratification. Yes, we all have that dream company or dream thing that we would really like to do, but now may not be the time to deal with that. It may be the time to start thinking about when is that actually going to happen? It'd be great to, to change things instantly, but it doesn't always happen that way. So this is a great time to kind of bring that to an end. So let's see what we've got coming up with the cards. Um, by the way, if you have any questions that come up that you have about Saturn in retrograde, please um, <clears throat> post your questions um, or your comments beneath and I will get to them as quickly as I can. So the first card I pull forward is called nature. And this is really great because this kind of symbolizes our getting our alone time, um, taking a walk in the park or taking uh, time for ourselves. And usually out in nature is a great way to bring that to us. And what would we like to change or modify and really rethink things? The next part is soulmates. Rethinking our soulmates. Soulmates don't always have to be a loved one or a um, spouse or partner. It could be friends and relatives. Um, are we rethinking those relationships and do we need to change or modify anything with that? Um, our next one is all about new love. This is something that's really important. Um, as we look at our calendars, are there things that we are in love with that are on there? And how often are we scheduling that information or that project to work through? If it's something that you're really, really excited about, maybe there's a new um, career for that's opening up for you and that could be your new love. Are you doing everything to learn about it? Are you taking classes or reading books or doing research? So what are you moving that forward into? And then new love could be just something that you're really like, I really thought I'd really like this and I didn't like it. So let me see if there's something I can change and modify. Let me pull one last card for us. This one is all about abundance. So abundance is a really great card, but it can also be something that we bring in to us all the time. The one thing that is most important during Saturn and retrograde to bring forward is abundance of time. Anything you put your time into, that's where you're putting your love and your your affection towards. So are you doing it in things that you really love or that you really care about and things that you want to make more abundant in your life? That's a really good time to start rethinking these. Um, I thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited. Um, if you have any questions, like I said earlier, or like to subscribe to my channel, please do so below. And I will be talking to you soon.